Hello Virgos, this is the what is your ex thinking love spread. This is the ex that's foremost in your mind, one that you feel like you could not live without, you feel like you let them get away, or they let you go, um, and you want them back, okay? So that's the person that you're thinking of um, in regards to this spread. There's five cards. The first one will be, what is their current love life looking like for your ex-love interest. Okay. What is Virgo's ex-love interest's love life looking like right now? Okay. We got a lot of cards. So first is two of wands. They're indecisive, making a decision. That's actually what um, Leo's just got. So you might be dealing with a Leo. Okay, yeah, again, a two of swords. And we have five of wands and nine of wands. So they're indecisive or making a decision about, it looks like whether to date or to kind of stay holed up and have their guard up. They may be trying to protect some kind of a relationship um, against somebody who might fight the relationship. Or possibly some of them may be in a little, little abusive relationship, not something that you would think of worthy of prison type of thing and they're just they're kind of holding their guard up against it if it's not their relationship they may be worried about somebody else coming in because this is somebody who's fighting to get noticed and this is somebody who's worried that somebody else is trying to come in so there may be two people involved in this current love life and they're afraid somebody's trying to come in. That may very well be you that they're afraid is coming back in. Uh, maybe perhaps you're the one fighting to be noticed. All right, let's see what else we get. Three of Wands, yeah, so I see it's a partnership, there's three, so there could very well be three people involved. Yeah, with Five of Wands over here, there's a, there's a rival or some kind of an obstacle. And they're trying to defend their relationship they have currently from somebody coming in, from a third party. So that may be you coming for them, or somebody else is coming for their boyfriend or girlfriend or whomever. So there's a little bit of a battle going on in their current love life. And usually Nine of Wands talks about stressful love. So if it's not like a, like a low level of abusive which I don't really see how there is, but that's just what I'm getting. Um, then it's somebody else trying to come in and that's causing stress. All right. What are Virgo's ex-love interests feelings towards them? Queen of Cups reversed. So you're coming up as a water sign to them. They think you're very over-emotional, uh, probably a little vindictive. Because they like this is an like over-emotional wreck forced to be vindictive. And that's probably why they're so wary of you coming in. They're either protecting themselves or a relationship. So they could be single, but I'm really seeing third party here. Um, they could see you as having um, some kind of alcohol or substance abuse. Or just being very moody, suspicious, secretive. So they're kind of having to be suspicious as well in order to fend you off. But yeah, they see you as emotionally unstable and vindictive. And like you're not listening to your intuition. 
And I think they may be detached from you emotionally or you're detached from them emotionally. Okay, so we have the Hierophant to clarify, our first major arcana. So sometimes this is coming out of isolation. They may have been married to you, or you're still married technically. And, and here I see maybe possibly their identity was getting like, taken over, possibly by you. Or they see that you're vindictive about a relationship that they're in now. They could be married to someone else. And that might be what this whole love life thing is about. I probably should have pulled these in reverse so I could see how they felt about you first. just it's not very clear okay I'm not sure why it's coming up this way But I'm seeing them as they're either rejecting you or you're rejecting them due to something that's too constraining or conventional. This is somebody who always believes they're right. And that may be you that they're seeing that. Now, I know Virgos and Libras and even Geminis, um, especially if it's in their moon sign, tend to be seen as detached emotionally. This could be detached and very just religious based. And that's just how they see you. Let's pull, because that is a kind of a two card. I just, it's not as clear as I would like it to be. You may have Taurus in your chart as well. Okay, four of wands, there's a marriage. Oh, and, oh, okay. So it has something to do with a steady relationship or a marriage, because we have four of wands and the hierophant. And then we have seven of cups. And to me, this is temptation to cheat. So some of you, I'm not sure if they're really your ex, honestly. They may be with you, and they're afraid that you're trying to stray. But for those of you, it is your ex. I think they're afraid you're coming in. Because this is how they, they feel about you. This is to choose wisely. This is somebody who's tempted by fantasies. I usually pull two for Seven of Cups. So they see somebody who's not invested in the idea of marriage and they're more willing to cheat. And so the Queen of Cups reverse could be being unfaithful as well as detached emotionally. Now this could be flipped energy. They could see this could be for you who are watching and you see them this way. But I also see they may think that you're the one who got away 
um, like as an unfaithful lover. Again, there, there could have been some kind of broken engagement that you guys may have had, and it's hurt. But they don't see you as somebody who's um, sticking around. Okay, the next card is, what is your ex-love interest general life like? Seven of Wands. So, some of them are getting lots of opportunities. And it's kind of unnerving or unsettling, but they're adaptable. And I think they're also defending some kind of beliefs they have. Some of them are teachers and they're motivating people. Some of them could be motivational speakers. And some of them could actually, when it comes to love, they could have lots of love offers and they're trying to defend something off. So again, I see their general life is kind of permeating their love life. They're trying to defend someone off and it may very well be you. Why is the seven of wands here? Four of Swords reversed. So I see a need to go back to the Three of Swords because they're defending because they're still thinking about Three of Swords. They're still thinking about that heartbreak and they feel defensive and they're trying to defend themselves. So again, I'm seeing they're defending themselves, but I think they're also protecting against a rival of some sort. But, I mean, they're Seven of Wands, so they're standing their ground. They're not losing any ground. The next card is, what are your chances of reconciliation with your ex-love interest? Queen of Swords reversed. So, I'm seeing no. Okay. And we have two queens here. And I think they're both representing you honestly because I see overly emotional and here we have the Queen of Cups reverse which is overly emotional I see malice and vindictiveness cold-hearted um, manipulative unhappy lonely uh, not only is this woman single and divorced because this is a divorced single woman or person but this is like not only is she single and divorced, but she's bitter and she's super lonely as opposed to just lonely. And then she's kind of got evil and her malice in her heart now. So I also see somebody who's being codependent rather than independent. So again, they could see you with some kind of a substance abuse. Yeah. I could see that with Queen of Cups, Seven of Cups, and this in reverse. And I could also see you getting out of rehab and trying to like defend themselves against you. If it's not rehab, it could very well be some kind of a prison, but I don't see that so much. But Leo's got a very similar reading. So, yeah, this is somebody who has malice towards someone because of something they think they did or they feel like they were wronged in some way. And they're very overly emotional about it. So I'm seeing new. No. Not getting back together because somebody mad as hell. <laughs> All right, how will... Um, I almost said Leo for a second. How will Virgo's ex-love interests proceed from here? Ace of Swords. So yeah, Leo had this carpet in reverse. So I see they're going to keep their strong opinion. They may contact you. Um, but this is usually an impending disaster card. But it can be avoided or eased. So let's see what that's going to be about. This is somebody who's, who's taking action. But it's usually cutting someone out of your life. Like I usually see here... Like, this person wants to cut you out of their life, and now here they are doing it. So that may very well be what this is, but I want to clarify just to make sure. 
It's just really reminiscent of Leo's reading I just did. Or like somebody was getting out of prison and spying on them and coming to get them kind of thing, but not necessarily in an evil way. But this one seems more with bad intent and they, they think it's you because they're defending themselves against you in some way. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so in a nice way, this is a new beginning, both philo philosophically, money, um, and even possibly love. Ace of Pentacles is the right path. And this is somebody who's starting that new path and they're, they're like a trailblazer. They're cutting their own way through. Um, but I see them doing it um, with clear communication. They could be moving on without you, from what I've seen so far. There could be very few of you who do get together. This could be them cutting out the past and going into the future with a new start. But I do want to do one more clarification to see if it's with or without you. Okay, so Six of Cups Reverse tells me freedom moving on. Okay, because somebody is stuck in the past, but they're moving on from it, or at least that's their need to do that. So they may hold on to you for a little while, but then they're moving on. Or they may just move on. Let's see. What do the Love An Romance Angel Oracle deck cards have to say for Virgos regarding reconciliation? Okay. It says it's safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. This may actually be advice for them if they're feeling very defensive about this three of swords issue because four of swords is reversed and I do see some defensiveness now there may be like a switch of energies here and this is how you're feeling but it's not supposed to be okay, what do the love romance angel oracle decks have to say about how Virgo's ex-love interest will proceed from here Separation. Okay. So time apart from your partners on the horizon. So, I mean, I was pretty sure about it. You know? Okay. Now, this was their general life. So they may have been thinking it was safe to love, but they have to cut you out. All right. Any other last words from the Romance Angel Oracle deck? Yeah, don't flirt. Don't extend your energy to them. Don't flirt with them. They're not interested, and they're not going to be flirting with you. Sorry about that, Virgos. But I think it's better to know now as opposed to, like, six months from now. But they're not interested. Uh, I think they're just really defensive against you, and I'm not sure why. But it's not happening. They may have seen you as the one that got away, or they just aren't invested and they lost interest. All right, good luck, Virgos. 